Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and we're going on with our Faith Field Notes journal. And I have been inking, so if you're if you're making your journal along with me, be sure you're inking all your pieces and parts. And so, okay, so let me give me give you a quick testimony just real quick of today's <clears throat> so I'm kind of proceeding on my <laughs> my history of what went on on my job and how God blessed me financially or kept me out of trouble financially. So to follow up on the last story, you know, I passed the color test, got the job. And once I got the job, what they had done is they had combined about 10 jobs into one. So you had to learn all 10 to be able to do the job. And it turned out to be miserable. <laughs> it's You can imagine. So it was horrible. I hated it. And so I just started thinking like, what can I do? I'm going to, I'm going to quit and I'm going to go sell real estate. That was my thought. And so I took it to the Lord. I didn't just jump out there and I said, Lord, please help me here. I don't know what to do. I don't like my job. I'm miserable. So I'm going to go and talk to my brother-in-law about selling real estate. So if you don't want me to do this, please do something, intervene, help me here, Lord. I'm, I need your help to know for sure. So I was planning to do that. And about a week later, my supervisor came to me and he said, hey, they've, they've decided to make this new job and it's called a design planner. And I think you'd be really good for it. And so it turned out, it worked out. I got that job, this brand new job, which they had had it in the past and I'd actually looked into it in the past, and right when I was asking about it, looking into it, they eliminated that job. And I was so disappointed because it, it was sounded really fun, and you know, you get to basically choose designs that go on cards and all the pieces and parts and things. And so um, that's what the new job was. So I took the new job, and it was like moving from hell to heaven. <laughs> it was so different and wonderful, and I was so happy. It was just great. And I, and it was just cool how the timing worked out that, you know, I was headed this way, but the Lord just went er, and turned me around the other way. So that is today's story. So, all right. So I'm going to, I'm going to go back to the journal and talk for a second. I wanted to show you, so I've kind of got pieces and parts cut out and I'm inking what I can, but I, these uh, cards need to be cut out and glued and I would glue, I would try to put each one with its corresponding piece just to make sure they fit together. But you can line them up and if there's one, one bigger than the other, you can always trim it down. So I'm gonna uh, cut those apart and do that. But I wanted to show you this big envelope. So I had told you on the piece of paper, it says you might wanna print it on thinner paper because it will be more like an envelope if you do that. Um, if you use the photo paper, it's a lot thicker and bulkier and stiffer. And, you know, you can still do it, but I just wanted wanted you to know about. Well, here's the other thing. Here's the color difference. When I printed on the photo paper, you can see just how much prettier the color is. Still looks good on this. And I do like the thin paper. So, I mean, they're both cool. But I just thought I'd show you that since I did one of each and inked them both. I still have a couple of things to ink. I think what I'm gonna do right now are kind of the no-brainers, which is, and I cut these apart, but I leave them attached so I'll know which one goes to which, because on this page with the five cards like this, I mean, tags, these definitely, they're different sizes. And I did that, I had to do that to get five of them on one page. So these are slightly narrower so you've got to be sure you get those with the ones, these two. So I think I will go ahead and do that. Get my art glitter glue out and just glue them together. And you can make, so I'm making five tags, but you can, you know, use them as 10 tags if you don't want to glue them together.
I really like this one. I think it's hilarious. It's from Hot Springs, Arkansas, which I'm guessing must be a national park down there because that's what these postcards were, were from the national parks. But I just couldn't, leave, couldn't resist that one. Okay, so you've got these five tags, and then you can ink those. Okay, so I'm finishing cutting apart the two slides, and the we will make the slides on another day, but there's two labels and I don't want them to get lost. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink them and glue them on. So, cut these apart. I don't know if I'll have dried flowers that I can put in these or if I'll have to wait. I might just prepare them. And I was saying, so on these, on these, um, take my, my corner punch. And I'm gonna go ahead and round these. I think I'll do them one at a time. Use my large, I've got this punch that has the three different sizes. <clears throat> I'm gonna round my corners. I used to put the rounded corners on there, but it's harder to cut them out. It's easier to cut rectangles and just punch them later. So that was my thought. I don't always do it. I don't always remember to do it, but I'm gonna do it this time. Oh, I am just in love with this distressed paper I used on this one. <laughs> so we'll cut the windows out and put these slides together later, but we'll get this part done right now. Just so we have, mainly I want to make sure I get these labels glued on. But I'm going to go ahead and ink these. There's a lot of inking. I did my pages. I did both sides of my pages. And, okay, so you can see the little die cut of the window. And so one of each of these is gonna be the front. So if you have a preference, I guess they're both the same. Yeah, they're, they're both the same. Okay, cool. So this one's not. So pick which one you want on the front. Okay, and then glue the label on. And we'll write on it later when we know what we're gonna put in there. So something like that. And I guess these have different numbers on them. Doesn't make a whole lot of difference, I don't think. Uh, 
Okay, so something like that. Okay, so those will be ready when we get to that, that day. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these out and I'm gonna glue these together. You don't need to watch me do that. And then I'm gonna ink all of them all, all the way around. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've glued these together. I'm gonna ink them, but I just thought I, I'm, some of these, I'm gonna go ahead and round them, round the corners, so. Okay, and so, and then the envelopes. So we're just kind of doing some of the simpler things right now. So the envelopes, whichever way you went on those, go ahead and glue those up. So let's see, I'll put these in and glue. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up, but I think that's it for today's video. My dogs are having a fit because somebody, somebody came to the door. So I'm gonna stop the video for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.